seems to be, especially with the resistance training side, a the benefit cardiovascular seems to come with enhancing stroke volume. Uh, this was bore out in, you know, Doug McGuffey frequently talks about this study done in Germany in patients with heart failure, in which they included a centralized catheter to measure sort of right side return of, of blood flow to the heart. And they saw that with increasing resistance, there was an, an, a further decreasing in systemic vascular resistance. And I've seen some other studies that have demonstrated this, that resistance training seems to largely augment um, the ability to rapidly dilate and enhance cardiac output by way of, of stroke volume. This is why if you've ever, and if you're hyperventilating and doing a really weird form of breathing, you can drive up your heart rate. But if you're breathing in accordance with not trying to just breathe like a, a maniac, but rather just let your ventilation and your respiration match your work, you'll find that your heart rate, while it goes up, it doesn't come anywhere near your cardiac max, assuming you're not chasing that cardiac output, you're moving gingerly piece to piece, um, or machine to machine, it seems to kind of settle in somewhere around 60% of your age predicted heart rate max, which is about where stroke volume levels are. And some people's physiology might be different. I mean, personally, I have about the same VO2 max adding this cardiorespiratory training that I did when I was just doing it. So that would be an absolute tissue level delivery of oxygen. It hasn't really changed because because you need that oxygen, whether you're doing weights or whether you're doing high intensity interval stuff. Now, now the equation for VO2 max is, you know, heart rate times stroke volume, so your cardiac output times the, t the oxygen extraction at the tissue level, hmm. right? So for us, if you're talking about resistance training, you, we come preloaded with the ability to, to extract oxygen pretty aggressively through the form of exercise we've been doing. If you're doing HIT, you might have maximized to some degree that variable because it's not very trainable. I mean, mm -hmm. if you are a healthy individual, healthy adult, you know, in a reasonable amount of uh, reasonable amount of shape, you might have 10 to 15 percent. I mean, there are some individuals who do 20, 25 percent of that improvement. But if your average of untrained adult male is about a 42 milligrams per kg per minute on the VO2 max scale, that means they might get the 52. If they're mm. lucky.